Hello, my name is Victor Sanchez and I'm a Next Limit uh, product specialist. I'm going to show you up how real phone notes work for all of you who are still not familiar with uh, real phone notes. They're currently installing the same real flow uh, ap application folder and uh, they're certainly the same real flow program with no graphic user interface with no visual feedback, but all of the tools and features that you have in RealFlow are currently uh, right here and currently available in the RealFlow node. Uh, there are some different ways to work with nodes and we'll, we'll take a look at uh, some of them in some different circumstances. But certainly the traditional or the manual way uh, it was uh, running them in a, in a command prompt or shell if you're running on Linux or OS 10. So you can open a, Chrome, uh, a command prompt window and drag and drop the application realflow.node.exe and the uh, flw file, the realflow file that you want to simulate. So in this case if my node is properly set, it's properly licensed, I just hit enter right here and automatically the, the process uh, will begin. We also provide a bunch of uh, some different arguments and uh, uh, some different flags. If we, we uh, want to mess or we want to define, uh, uh, determine uh, runs of frames or whatever, we, we provide these these tools, but certainly there are uh, currently right now there are some sophisticated, much more sophisticated tools uh, to work with nodes. And one is the possibility of uh, use the job manager. So once in uh, RealFlow GUI mode, I can uh, easily tweak my scene here, and when I'm happy with the setup. I can I can uh, use a node uh, licensed machine to to simulate that to process that and with this button right here send to the job manager I will send to the network um, the the currently job so this uh, GUI machine will be uh, available uh, for me if I want to simulate right inside here and I don't want to use. Uh, uh, this license to simulate, I can handle parallel processes, simulate different versions, etc. <coughs> okay, we'll take a look in detail at, at this. Um, and the best of all, uh, for sure, is is the price. I mean, it, it's it's really it's really affordable. Just double check our, our website and uh, take a look at the price because it's it's uh, pretty, pretty affordable. If you want to handle high complexity scenes or if you just want to get a faster result, splitting up different processes and assigning these processes to uh, its. Uh, node license machine you you will be able to to do that okay so we are going to begin with the licensing process it's uh, pretty simple for this demo we are going to uh, use three different machines uh, first of all I'm going to use this machine where I'm currently logged in uh, I'm going to use it as my workstation to uh, tweak my scene to uh, work with uh, real flow in GUI mode. Uh, and uh, I'm going to <coughs> use uh, another two machines. I'm going to use a, a PC and a MacBook Pro as my real flow nodes. And one of them, uh, actually the PC machine, is also going to work as a licensed server into the whole network. I have to say that uh, these three machines are uh, connected via Wi-Fi. Obviously, it's not the best situation for a production studio, uh, and the uh, network uh, must be properly set, uh, must be uh, cabled, and uh, you will get a much more faster result. It will make the difference, obviously, but it's uh, a very, very good example. This uh, Wi-Fi network that I, ha that I have here is a very good example of uh, 
how we see the, the nodes uh, run, you don't need any additional or special requirements in terms of networking. Just make sure uh, the uh, policies and the uh, permissions are uh, correctly set. And obviously the, the files that you're going to use are uh, absolutely reachable and accessible by all the machines involved in the uh, process. But there's, I mean, there's no, no big deal uh, with the networking uh, at all. You can even mix, as I'm going to do, some different operating systems. We can introduce uh, Linux or, or whatever. Okay, so let's close this guy for a moment, and uh, we're going basically. We're going to need uh, the license manager and and license, obviously, and the uh, real flow node uh, best partner, which is this uh, job manager tool. It's it's uh, it's not mandatory, but definitely is the is the best way to to handle. Um, a, a bunch of nodes to take uh, visual feedback of uh, how the processes are are going on are, uh, in terms of uh, percentage or uh, if uh, all of the nodes are uh, currently settled. Okay, so I'm going to copy these uh, three files in next limit zero two machine in the white screen machine. Um, I'm going to do it right in the desktop. Okay. These applications, uh, these both of these applications, you actually can download them from our portal. Just uh, login into the download area and click on the real flow icon, and you'll get both of them uh, right here. The job manager and the license manager which is our proprietary software to uh, let the tools such as uh, real flow nodes or uh, render kit run properly okay so the files are being copied and i'm going to switch to the next limit zero two machine Okay, here we are. Uh, I have the three uh, files copied here, and uh, first of all, we're going to we're going to begin with the licensing process. I'm going to install the license manager. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to add the license. Uh, I think the license is simple you just need to open the shell or a command line prompt and uh, get access to the application and get access to the uh, license manager in this case so I'm going to drag and drop the license here and uh, use the flag minus a as in F it is extremely mandatory that the manager must be stopped, must be totally stopped before having a license. Uh, I have a tool to visualize or to uh, check how uh, the manager is, is working. I just need to uh, get connected to my IP where the where I want to uh, let the uh, manager be running and with the port 2226 uh, I will get uh, uh, with this web query I will get the information about if the license is working or not in this case it's not working so I will get this message uh, that the browser couldn't connect with the with the tool uh, if for some reason I just want to uh, uh, start 
the, the license, I just need to add the flag minus S. So if I refresh this guy here, we have the license manager running, but not with any license at all. It's running, but with uh, it's not licensed. There, there are not uh, store license here. Okay, so as I told you before, we need to uh, we need to get it totally stopped. So I'm just going to stop it with the flag minus T as in terminate. Okay, so if I hit refresh again, I will go, uh, Google Chrome will cannot find anything at all. Here you are. So I'm going to add my license just by drag and drop minus A as in F and drag and drop the license. <coughs> Okay, so I get the, this feedback of the license is installed uh, correctly. And uh, at this point, uh, the license has been added, uh, but the license manager is stopped. So I have to let it run, obviously, and I'm going to use the flag I told you before, minus S as in start. It's so simple as drag and drop here and use minus S. So now at this time, the license is running and with the file, my notes license in this case, the, the name is irrelevant, uh, is, is currently running. So here uh, in the 99% of the cases, you are going to work with these three flags here. If for some reason you need to remove or you need to delete these, these license that you have added here, uh, it's pretty simple. You just have to stop, it. get totally stopped the, the, the license with the flag minus T, minus terminate. And uh, just once the, the license is totally stopped, you just need to uh, remove, you just need to delete this, this file here. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, the, the, the license will be totally removed. And if you want to get rid of uh, your computer, or you're going to transfer uh, this machine uh, or whatever, you can easily remove uh, the license that way. Okay, it's extremely important that if you're running with, uh, in the case of Windows, with a Windows firewall or antiviruses, it's extremely important you have the proper exception in the antivirus software or into uh, the Windows firewall. So uh, into, into the Windows firewall, uh, because the 99 cases, 99% uh, of the cases where the uh, license manager is uh, is uh, not uh, working properly is due to one of these factors, uh, antivirus or uh, Windows firewall. So please be sure to get them totally uh, disabled or enabled with an, uh, an exception for, for the license manager. Okay, I'm going to switch to the workstation to next limit zero one machine and I'm going to check in the web query if the license is reachable for this machine. So I just need to uh, get connected to the IP of the machine that is running uh, the, the license manager, in this case, the 13 machine, and uh, put the same port 2226. Okay, and here you are, the, the license is, is running. And uh, we have the uh, store license here and we have the usage of this license if uh, any license is currently used or our license is available. In this case, there's no, no license in use. So I have the three totally available. Okay, 